As critical race theory becomes a nationwide topic in schools, one student is calling out her high school in a new op-ed. She writes, quote, my high school's anti-racist agitprop teachers tried to pull, bully me into signing a $375 student government check for a group promoting critical race theory, and I refused. That student, Sahar Tartak, is a freshman at Yale right now, and she is a fellow at the Foundation Against Intolerance and Racism, and she joins me now. So it's very interesting to me. So you were the treasurer. This happened when you were in high school. You were the treasurer, correct? And so tell me why you didn't want to sign the check. So frankly, I had no information about where the student government funds were going. The only information I had was that it was going to be a school-wide presentation about systemic racism. And when I pressed for more information, I was bullied. And specifically, there was a teacher, a social studies teacher. What did she say to you? Well, during a student government meeting, my teacher asked me if I would have also opposed a Holocaust presentation. And when I questioned that comparison, seeing that my grandfather is a Holocaust survivor, I was accused of finding slavery debatable and told that if I am not on board with systemic racism, I have trouble with that girlfriend. Wow. And so you, you stood your ground despite the pressure, and you actually went to the school board to explain your decision. And what happened there? Yes, I did. I was... I received a lot of positive feedback from a lot of people, actually a wide variety of people, teachers, students, parents. Um, I would say silent support as well, people who feel afraid to speak up in similar positions. What did you learn from this experience? I learned that it's worthwhile to stand up and that people really, really appreciate it. I come from a community largely of immigrants. Um, my mother escaped revolutionary Iran. Like I said, my grandfather escaped the Nazis. And we are very grateful to be in this country. And it's, it's really important, important to us. And I felt good standing up for that. Wow, you're, you're, it's, it's a great example that there are a lot more people on your side than you actually think. And, uh, but nonetheless, your, your courage is really um, admirable. We reached out to the Great Neck North High School for a statement, and we have not heard back. Any last thoughts on this? Any advice for other students who are p placed in this kind of situation? Sure. I would say that it's worthwhile to stand up and that, in general, you can rely on the people around you to be kind and supportive. That's what I found. I, I received a lot of support. And don't do it alone. Please reach out to me um, yeah. if you need any help. Yeah, I think, I think that's great advice. When somebody is, is under the gun or uh, some sort of canceling happening, that other people reach out and show their support in, in that moment is really important. I will note also that your actions have called, caused your school district to look more closely into many of these, as you call it, agitprop um, type organizations and where their funding is going for critical race theory and other things. So you've made a big difference. We appreciate you joining us this morning, and we're all very inspired by your courage, Sahar. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I appreciate your open mind. Okay, God bless you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.